everybody, I'm Lisa Grotz, Lisa Mirza Grotz. I am the first Assyrian etiquette expert, and I am here today to tape probably 10 or 11 uh, episodes for Shamira Media on how I became an etiquette expert and got involved in it. And so we're gonna begin. Without question, I would not be in these shoes, standing in my shoes without my family, uh, many of whom immigrated from the Middle East to the United States in the 1950s. And I've never forgotten it. And my family is, everything about my family is who I am. And I'm so grateful because as I said, I would not be standing in these shoes without them. And even from a young age, I remember so many colorful stories from my relatives and they have always stuck with me and I am so so grateful to my Assyrian family and my heritage. My work in etiquette is foundational because I was raised with a solid foundation. It just took me a long time to realize that I didn't choose this career, it chose me. My parents always had a house full of company and we were always entertaining. And so both of my parents taught me to be hospitable to all guests, to you know show them where the bathroom was, where to put their coats, make sure they had food in front of them. And because of that, I now teach the following and I'm able to pass it on to other people. So I'm very grateful for that. And I love being a teacher, uh, which essentially it's, it's what I've become because of my family upbringing. Without question, I feel that I was born lucky. But it wasn't until I traveled to the United Kingdom when I was in college that I realized my luck came from my value system. I was a student abroad at Oxford and I was with my roommate at the British Museum. I had promised my mother that I would visit the Assyrian exhibit to see the winged bulls. And when we were walking around the exhibit, my roommate whispered in my ear that two women were whispering behind me and I thought they must be Assyrian. And of course they were. And for the next four months while I was abroad, Nina and her Assyrian family became my family. And on the weekends I would travel from Oxford to London. I was an exchange student in Oxford and I would visit she and her husband Colin and occasionally their children. So it's that value system that carried all the way to the United Kingdom. You know, here this woman plucked me from a museum gallery and I was so touched by it, but we were just drawn to one another. And I know it's because of the value system that I came from and the influence of my Assyrian heritage. I'm excited to share with you uh, some of my expertise on etiquette, which I've been doing for quite a long time on Shamira Media. We're gonna be taping some episodes and I'm gonna be sharing with you some of my Assyrian upbringing growing up. And I look forward to passing on some tips to people in my own community.